Cancer Prevention Guide was uh, written from the foundation called Society for Prevention of Cancer, Spock Trust. So basically, this book is going to guide people to prevent cancer. Uh, there was a lack in our training program itself as a doctor. We did not give much importance to cancer prevention. Now, whenever we see patients, it's not only about treating patients, it's also about preventing the recurrence of the cancer. Because for that, we know we should know the multifactorial reasons that cause cancer. So this is the reason we wrote chapter wise, non-specific reasons and specific reasons for each cancer. So specific cancers also have been described and non-specific reasons also have been described chapter wise in this book which help in preventing cancer in general population and it will guide the doctors all the doctor community including the students to learn about how really you want to prevent cancer and how important it is to generally express to your patients so this is the reason this book was uh, mm, written <music> said this book is for everybody for cancer patients for doctors for medical students and for general population and cancer patients relatives especially they have to read this book book because when the cancer happens in the family there is a general common cause in that family that causes cancer if you read the reasons in this book what causes cancer you will be amazed to know what could be the reason in your family or uh, and uh, so the whole family has to read this book and the doctors have to book, read this book as a common learning uh, program we are also try, trying to talk to uh, the national uh, uh, medical council nmc uh, to promote this cancer prevention guide as uh, one of the textbooks. So I think it is a long way to go, but we are discussing. Thank you. The title Cancer Prevention Guide it itself explains. The problem with prevention is, as I said, there's no one single reason for cancer formation. See, ultimately cancer happens because of genetic change in the cell of the body so now if this genetic change is continuously hit by the so by the all the factors risk factors then this genetic change will promote into cancer so what happens is the cancer is happens as an initiation promotion and then progression of the disease you understand so this we have to stop this initiation level, promotion level, and progression level. So in all these three stages, we can stop cancer formation. Round the clock, millions of cancer cells are being formed in our body. And there are a lot of factors that also suppress the killing of these cells. There is something called apoptosis, self killing of the breast, uh, all the cancer cells in the body. So this self killing has to be promoted by improving your lifestyle and by improving the, your diet, nutrition and by being happy and by doing exercise and also the specific reasons that are there for this cancer can be treated many times. Like for example, hepatitis B can cause liver cancer. So, but there are certain antiviral drugs and diet, like, diet and lifestyle modification that can prevent liver cancer. So this is how we have expressed these things in this book in the, as a guide to prevent cancer. So I do recommend everybody to read this book. Um, top three to five takeaways from the book is, see, uh, generally when we talk about prevention, public uh, health is also not doing much because they do not have time for it. And uh, when you talk about uh, the medical education itself there are like you know primary prevention secondary prevention tertiary prevention and it's the end of the book or textbook or end of the chapters small paragraph is written but in this textbook 
we have written individual chapter how to prevent each cancer we also have written how stress can cause prevention of cancer uh, stress can be like you know reducing stress can prevent cancer how obesity causes so many cancers and how weight loss is beneficial and how yoga meditation being happy is very helpful how different habits that we have in our life can help in preventing cancer these are general topics that we've included uh, in this book which is very very helpful i think and uh, the individual topics like immunity immunity causing cancer and uh, we have topics like how why gi cancer is common that cancers colon cancers they're all separately written in this book uh, even though there is a overlap of the uh, the topics we have made sure that it is uh, written in a very specific manner if you want to read this book only one chapter you, you still have to buy this book because nowadays a lot of young girls also are getting with tumors and cancers and it's very disheartening to see see that you know even children are getting cancers so there is there is one of the common cause uh, viruses exposure to viruses can cause cancer but how to prevent by improving your lifestyle only we can prevent cancer so this is the reason there are only few three or four actual familial cancers which cannot be prevented like retinoblastoma so uh, such cancers we cannot do much about it but the most of the cancers can be prevented with lifestyle so that is what we have highlighted in this book in a big way when the reader selects this book why he should know why he is selecting so medical students all of them have to read this book doctors all doctors have to read this book i will say that every chapter has to be read by them because it is really helpful for them to impart that that knowledge to their patients and uh, that is going to be a very big thing from my side uh, if uh, that is my biggest achievement i feel from the society for prevention of cancer and general population when they pick this book they have to pick it up because they were they're looking at some particular cancer prevention but they have to read all the general topics on lifestyle prevention lifestyle and prevention of cancer and they have to read a specific cancer that they they're interested in and uh, this could be very helpful other day in fact um, i met a phd student uh, in one of the conferences and she her thesis topic itself is immunity and uh, why immunosuppression patients they are immunosuppressed patients are getting cancer so that is her topic so i told her we have written a chapter on how immunity itself plays a big role in either preventing cancer or immunosuppressed patients why they are getting cancer due to inflammation because inflammation prevents apoptosis so these uh, topics also can be read in general uh, by the people after reading the book all of us have to first basically if the doctor is reading the book he has to impart this knowledge to his patients and if patients are reading the whole family has to discuss uh, these topics and i would suggest the whole family to read this book and it has to be one of the books to be kept in every library in the world and uh, and it has to be a book uh, that is that should be available everywhere uh, is what i think and uh, after that uh, students medical students have to read this book because uh, in the long term it is very helpful how they do clinical practice so it is very important when we talk to the patients uh, we not only talk about the disease one way of uh, you know Uh, taking them forward on their lifestyle changes is by having good knowledge of how to prevent cancer so that's what they have to do doctors you <music> can reach out to me directly on my phone number 9845090342 or they, they can even connect through the stardom alliance uh, who is my publisher who has uh, been excellent and uh, uh, they're doing excellent job and uh, I, i in fact they really motivated me to write a uh, few books so i'm author of uh, three other books which is uh, which was uh, real motivation from them for me